I absolutely love to make air dry clay vases and I love to share my air dry clay projects with you. I get asked all the time if we can put water in our air dry clay creations. So please come and see my little air dry clay experiment to see how watertight we can make our air dry clay projects. Here are some air dry clay vases that I've made in some of my other videos that have been fully dried and painted in acrylic paint. Air dry clay test one using the dishwasher Mod Podge. As we ideally want to make the vase completely watertight, we want to completely coat the inside of our vases. And I'm doing absolutely nothing technical here at all. I'm simply just going to pour in my Mod Podge, swirl it around, make sure every bit of the surface is going to be covered. I can pour quite a lot in there, let it really roll around. It's quite a thick substance, so it does take quite a bit of time. And then once it's fully coated, I'm just simply going to pour that out, leaving a nice coating all around the inside. Once this is dry, I will also give the outside a coat of this as well, and then leave them to fully dry. Let's hope we can find the solution to adding fresh flowers to our air dry clay vases, not just dried flowers. Air dry clay watertight test two, using this oil-based polyurethane varnish. I've used this before for waterproofing some outdoor items, so I have high hopes for this one. This has a really strong odour, so I'm doing it outside. You might also want to wear a mask and gloves as well. I'm simply spooning the varnish in, and I'm going to fill it to the top so that then I can pour it out and make sure that the whole of the inside is, has a nice even coating of this varnish. This really does take quite some time to dry, so make sure you set it aside, ideally outside, and then bring it in to finish off the drying. Our air dry clay creations really do deserve fresh flowers. On to air dry clay test three. Liquitex varnish which I use with my acrylic paints. This is quite thin and easy to pour so I'm doing the same as with the polyurethane varnish and then I'll tip it out. This Liquitex one was quite pricey when I bought it so secretly I'm hoping the others might be better. Just bang it down and make sure all of it's down to the base and then you can pour it back out. Moving on to air dry clay test 4, my final one with PVA glue. Maybe I should use a non-washable one, but this is what I had to hand, so I'm repeating that process with this also. I left everything to fully dry. They did all take different time lengths to dry, but they're all fully dry and ready to test. This will be our moment of truth and see if we can make any of our air dry clay vases watertight. So I'm going to fill them all up to the top and leave them for five days to see what happens. And let's hope after those five days we'll be able to add some fresh flowers to at least one of them. Which one or two do you think it's going to be? There are so many other products out there to use, so experiment and play just like I've showed you here. So here's the verdict, the PVA white glue. It all bubbled on the surface here, so it's got acrylic paint and lacquer and all of that bubbled on the outside, so some of the moisture from the inside escaped. This vase feels tacky, so the moisture has escaped here too. This was the Liquitex varnish. On application, this seemed to sink into the clay rather than form a surface, so I obviously wouldn't recommend either of these two. Moving on to the results of the polyurethane varnish. It's all lovely and shiny still, there's nothing sticky or tacky about it, the water pours straight back out and I'm really pleased with how this one turns out. It's held the water in there for the five days and it hasn't affected it whatsoever. And finally the dishwasher safe Mod Podge. The water pours really well out of it, there's nothing sticky and tacky about it. I just feel that maybe the pot softens slightly when using this one. But it is an option, but I think my preferred one would be the oil-based polyurethane, as it really coats and gives a really good protective surface. Personally, I don't recommend storing water in air-dry clay for long periods of time, but it certainly worked for these five days. 
I'd always prefer to put some sort of vessel inside like I do in some of my other videos, but I hope this answered your question. So if you're really desperate to get your air dry clay watertight, then I recommend using one of the oil-based varnishes. Please check out all my other air dry clay videos. There's so many on here and there's lots of air dry clay inspiration. So thanks for watching and see you again soon. Bye for now.